Hey there, Todd Conaway here. Uh, today, uh, you all got access to a sandbox course if uh, you didn't already have one. So for those of you that are new to the 101 or 201 courses, uh, you now have a sandbox in your dashboard. Uh, it's your name followed by Teaching Online Sandbox. Uh, and you can use it to do a lot of different things. Uh, it's a place to play like the name kind of infers. It is a sandbox. It's somewhere you can mess around, right? So uh, my sandbox, right? Like I mess around. I wonder what it would be like to teach a class based on the Twilight Zone and use kind of animated GIFs as a way to uh, show students which episode you were going to take a look at that week and uh, as a way to navigate through the course material. But I also use it as just a place to mock up things for other faculty, uh, examples for them that I can share with them what something might look like. I use some of the tools, uh, some more than others. So for example, I'm not very familiar with uh, Office 365. I use Google Docs a lot more. But it, this is a way to kind of learn about it and see what it does. Uh, you're not going to break anything in here, so it's a it's a great place to experiment and play. It's also a place that you can store pieces of courses or actually build out entire courses. Uh, I have a lot of rubrics in my sandbox that um, I have used and import into other courses or use as examples. Uh, but you can build out single modules or multi multiple modules and uh, export those or import them into other courses. You can also, uh, in the settings, you can take a look at some of the things that are available in the feature options. Uh, one of the things that is coming our way for all of us here shortly is this, uh, the rich content editor enhancements, because that's what it's called right now. But if you turn this on, it will definitely change uh, the way the rich content editor looks in discussions and assignments. And that's actually, that's actually going to be turned on anyway uh, coming up here in December. Um, but there are other options like anonymous grading and moderated grading. There's things to explore here in Canvas. Most all of these you can, if you type anonymous grading Canvas, uh, you're going to find all kinds of information on what that means and how to use it. But the sandbox is a place to play with these things. And so once again, uh, all of you, uh, now have a sandbox, uh, whether it was from the 101 course or uh, more recently uh, in the 201 class. So uh, get in there and experiment and play. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.